30 seconds or something like that. So. Okay. I thought, okay. Yeah, you saw uh, it on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, a lot of viewers. Really? Uh, yeah. I, I haven't even looked at it here in a while. I saw it was like up to uh, 49. Oh, no nice. Tell him to call in. Okay, Welcome to the Sports Entertainment tonight. Yes, indeed. That's Mark Traha. Who am I? I'm Nick Fuqua. Yes, another edition of Sports Entertainment tonight. Yeah. Entertainment. Yes, you are entertained, aren't you? We want to thank y'all for joining us today. Yeah. We have uh, like we have both our YouTube channels. We have thank y'all very much. We have. Uh, 50 plus views on our. This is what this is all news to us, folks. So yeah, yeah keep on tuning in. Uh, you know, you can find us on YouTube. Yes. Uh, I guess we got a couple episodes on there now, or no? Yeah. Just two. Well, just two, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's still great. We. It's getting... growing. It's yeah. growing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. So, hey, I feel like we're, like, a little far away from the camera. Like, I can't even yeah. see you guys. I mean, like, yeah. you can't see me. You can't see me. Thank what? you. What? What? Oh, yeah. You yeah, really see, couldn't see me see there our pretty for a faces. second, huh? See our pretty, pretty Yeah. Faces. And uh, to think, I almost wore a green jacket today. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't see you. Know, you. but uh, you wouldn't be able to see yeah. me. So, right. we got some Not wrestling. As, some wrestling about, to talk about. Not as champions, Raw, and SmackDown spoilers. Main event, you know, uh, Hell in a Cell predictions, maybe yeah. even, you know, we do a, we do a lot of kind of little wrestling stuff around here. Uh, yeah, so uh, while we got him here, you know, we're going to go ahead and thank uh, old Jacob for uh, being a great producer. Yeah. You know, you got to love one, AOC. One of, the, one of the best. Yes, indeed. Look at that zoom shot that he did. I mean, yeah. like, you can get and see all yeah, this yeah. now, huh? Oh, see the money maker. Ooh, 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 ooh. The money makers. Yeah. The money makers. That's what we got. Okay. So let's talk Night of Champs. The pre-show uh, was kind of bobo. Yeah, I mean, no matches. It was an hour show, long. Yeah. yeah, and they had the peep show, which was review, but pretty much worthless. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, good. Uh, not a champion, do you think? I think so. I it's mean, kind of better, I think it's kind of better than SummerSlam. I mean, uh, I wouldn't go that far. Maybe I don't know. I think just maybe the finish of the main event kind of uh, yeah. sprinkled a little bit of negativity on my end. But other than that, it was very entertaining. Good job, WWE. Uh, you know, as if you really care about our opinions. Yeah. First um, match was the tag team match against the Usos and Goldust and Stardust. And pretty good match. Pretty good match. I would agree yeah. with you on that. And um, ultimately, the outcome was yeah. that we have new tag team champions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so t- <sighs> yeah. Uh, the cosmos so- were aligned. Well, yeah, and now uh, Goldust and Stardust have their cosmic key, yeah. you know, which, whatever that means. Hopefully yeah. it opens some kind of dimension. No, oh, and we have a new call, so let's go ahead and see yeah. how we do this. Speaker. Yes, you're on Sports Entertainment tonight. Welcome. Hello. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Very good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. What's okay. going on, Mr. John Boudreaux? Well, well, I'm the Wrestle Gamer on YouTube. Mark, I think he, he, we met at the Cajun Dome last week. You remember I was talking to you about my YouTube channel and whatnot? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, listen, I want to I give you some advice first for, for being on YouTube. I, I know last week you were talking about this certain person who was breathing some negative comments towards y'all. Um, but one thing I've learned from being on YouTube for over five years is that there are 95% of the people on YouTube are what we call trolls. Yeah. Now, what trolls are, there are people who live in their parents' basement who have never seen the light of day. Yeah. And oh, it's true. It's anything. damn true. And I need yeah. anything to start plugging whatever they're doing. And when you start mentioning their names on YouTube, you're, you're feeding the trolls and you're feeding, yeah. you know, you're doing exactly what they want you to do. Yeah. And that's like mention their name, whether it be in a positive or negative aspect. That's free publicity, them. man. Yeah, However, free PR. That's yeah. a big thing that we should uh, learn to not do is to not mention their names. Um, but a couple of things I want to bring up to you guys is um, well, one big rumor, and it's just a rumor I've heard. Nothing has been substantiated or even confirmed by WWE is the health issues around Brock Lesnar. I, I don't know if you guys have heard anything 
But there are a lot of rumors going around that Brock Lesnar is not in the best of health, that he might be having heart issues or anything like yeah, that. Again? I want to know what you guys' take on that. He had before, you know, before you went UFC, you know. Well, and that's why he got out of UFC yeah. and got back into WWE. Like, Apparently, he's in the top physical condition, you know, yeah. uh, from what you know WWE yeah. says. But I have not read anything yeah. recently that is. I know uh, Roman Reigns is out, you know, from his hernia. But as far as uh, Brock Lesnar is concerned, uh, I mean, I think I believe that's why he got out of UFC, as far as his heart condition yeah. that he had. Uh, but, you know, I haven't heard any uh, rumors or anything uh, lately is concerning really uh, whether or not that he's healthy. And if, if so, I, I would have figured that he would have yeah. dropped the championship at Night of Champions yeah. to uh, back to Cena. So just that alone, just with their booking alone, you know, of course he was not on Raw. Yeah. But I think he wasn't probably scheduled. He's one of those. He comes every now and again, you know. So yeah. we'll probably see him a couple months before Hell in a Cell just to kind of build that. Or a yeah. couple weeks, pardon yeah. me. So. Yeah, that's WWE putting their faith in our, quote, part-time champion. I, and and uh, it, it, it still baffles my mind because I've, I've said it on my channel before, and I'm going to bring it up to you guys, that after WrestleMania, people were, like, dissing on Lesnar, saying, oh, he's not good enough to break the Undertaker streak, and now all of a sudden they pin him against John Cena, and everybody wants to jump on the Brock Lesnar bandwagon. <laughs> it, it, it just baffles my mind that people are doing this. Oh, yeah, well, we're all a bunch yeah. of wrestling marks, I guess, yeah. you know, so... But, uh, I mean, I think that when you ask the everyday Joe, you know, what wrestlers do you know? They're going to say probably Randy Orton, John Cena, and Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, technically, they're just trying to get spread their uh, market, uh, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. You know, to get more viewers and, you know, maybe get some crossover from the UFC people to yeah. watch their uh, programming. Like, Bobby Lashley was the TNA champion for a little while. I don't know if he still is. Um, on the recent tapings, yeah, he still is. They had the uh, No yeah. Surrender uh, show last week, and uh, Lashley defeated Bobby Roode in, in the main event, which was, I want to say, less than a subpar main event for No Surrender. You know, yeah. they had some no, good at matches TNA? on the card, but yeah, the TNA. main event just really, in my opinion, fell a little flat. Uh, yeah, well, what do you know, TNA. Yeah, they're, they're but from what I hear, TNA recently has signed uh, Brodus Clay. What do you yeah. think about that, uh, Mr. Boudreaux? I think, that's a, I think that's finally a good pickup for TNA because Brodus Clay, in my opinion, was really misused sure. in the WWE. He was. Well, he never was the monstrous Brodus Clay or whatever he yeah. is now, you know, and that's what he was in NXT before he became yeah. a cartoon character and, you yeah. know, doing dances. Yeah. So, I, I think on one YouTube video they said he was going by like Monstrous BC or something yeah, for that. Right, because probably WWE owns yeah. his name. You know, well, there's so. like a little shoot interview with him, and he talks about all oh, his experiences in WWE. It's on YouTube. You can look that up. Yeah, I think that's um, in that on the the uh, the after chat with Bill After, I think. Yeah, and like a KFAP commentary. Right, and, and they, apparently they have Alberto Del Rio in the works as well. So, I mean, yeah. if anything, wrestling fans know who they are. So yeah. that might get them to turn the channel to TNA yeah. or check it out on Thursday. And I hope like, it you know, gets back to like the wars, you know. If, uh, you know I wish TNA games. because WWE put their game up. You know, I think WWE. It'd be nice, but it yeah. won't happen. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you gentlemen have heard, but uh, another recent pickup – from a TNA from WWE, Josh Matthews has yeah. been picked up by TNA. Right now he's working in the corporate office, but a lot of people believe it's only a matter of time before we see him on TNA television. And, and i got to ask you guys, with me being a commentator of uh, six years' experience here in Louisiana, I, I would think that Josh Matthews would, would be a good addition to the announce team of Mike Today and Taz, because just face it, Mike Today is just not the commentator he used to be. Right. Man, yeah. I mean, he kind of brings back memories of WCW, I guess yeah. you could say, a little bit. But Yeah, you kind of get that. Sure, vibe. it's a good acquisition. I mean, anybody from the WWE, they can pick up WWE scraps all they can. Yeah. I mean, because people recognize TNA almost as a B organization, yeah. you know. So if they'll take anybody with name recognition from the WWE. Yeah. So hand us your scraps, you know, make more cuts because yeah. we need to improve our roster a yeah. little bit. And, you know, obviously they've lost some of their bigger guys, uh, you know, like Sting and uh, eventually Kurt Angle. And, yeah. you know, eventually Jeff Hardy's going to come back. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it's kind of a give and take. And, you know, TNA can take gone. what they can get. 
What's that? Bully Ray is gone from TNA. He's no longer there. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't imagine we might have a Dudley reunion in the yeah. WWE then, yeah. you know? So you never know with the WWE. And, I mean, ultimately their checkbook is bigger, kind of going back to the Monday Night yeah. Wars whenever, you know, WCWD and WCW could just buy wrestlers. And that's yeah. essentially what WWE can do. Yeah. And they, are, they don't really even want w, TNA talent, you know? Uh, I mean, they took Sting because he's a legend, you yeah, know? Legend. Unless he's a legend, a guy that can work. You know. Right, and they'll take back Kurt Angle and Jeff yeah. Hardy just because of their the legacy names, in yeah. the WWE, you know. So, uh, ultimately, you know, I mean, TNA is doing what it can to stay afloat. And yeah. they're, you know, I guess providing us with a decent product, I yeah. guess you could say. Even though it wasn't now, crazy about Mike, Will. I have yet another question for you guys. Um, before Roman Reigns went down to the hernia injury that he had, do you think that with, with them bringing in Dean Ambrose at Night of Champions, do you guys feel that that this was possibly the backup plan they had because, you know, if Roman Reigns hadn't gone down to injury, I really don't think Ambrose would have been brought back as early as he did. Yeah, I, think uh, so. I don't know. Actually, last week we predicted that we would yeah. see the return of Dean Ambrose yeah. at Night of Champions. And actually, all the fans there knew he had been advertised yeah. for the show. So. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. pretty much the fans already knew that Dean Ambrose was going to be there. They were cheering for him at Night of Champions. But the thing is, with that is... It's put kind of a his injury, kind of put a wrench in the storyline, you know. Sure, and you can never have too many top baby faces, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, so, and I mean, we saw pretty much uh, Dean Ambrose get a lot of airtime yeah. here the last couple shows that they've aired uh, live this week. So, yeah. uh, and I mean, I think Dean Ambrose is a great alternative if you do lose yeah. Roman Reigns, who was you know one of your main event guys. Uh, if you do lose somebody like that, yeah. then it's good to have yeah. at least a Dean like, Rollins. Uh, I met one of my friends. He's a big Dean Ambrose. To I step met in. one of my friends. Was big. Sorry to interrupt. I had a friend that was good. He's a big time wrestling fan. You know, during the Attitude Era, and stopped watching it. And he started watching it with his his son. He's like, he he told me like, oh, I was talking. And I was like, he's like, man, I like this guy. That's dirty blonde guy, hair. You know, he's kind of crazy. He kind of reminds me of like. You know, he's like, I was like, uh, Dean Ambrose, he's like, yeah, that's him. He's like, I love that dude, you know, I don't know something about him, you know, he reminds me. Sure, well, he's unpredictable, he's yeah. a little crazy, you know, so, uh, and that's just entertaining for folks, right. you know, so. Um, which, you know, we, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Raw and kind of the ending that they had to Raw and how they had a couple holes in the story, so to speak. I mean, Dean Ambrose just appears in this box where they were supposed to have a bunch of concrete boxes, uh, right. bricks to, you know, curb yeah, stomp Surprise, Cena. Right. surprise yeah. you know, yeah. so. Um, but, yeah, so, John, uh, tell us about your show, man. Let's get you a little plug. Yeah. Oh, well, my name is Billy. John is my middle name. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what I do on WGS-TV, which is at YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer, there are a lot of different things. Of one thing, I'm a mainstay in independent wrestling here in Louisiana. I work with uh, several companies, including Gulf Coast Wrestling of Louisiana and Mid-South Extreme. You can, uh, can find them both on Facebook. And uh, I would like to personally invite you guys, whenever we have our next show, which is going to be sometime in February, to actually come out, and I would like to invite you guys to join me on commentary. That would be great. Cool. We're totally up for it. And, yeah. hey, I've actually been looking to get, kind of get into some booking as well, you know. Yeah. So I write all kind of little storylines yeah. and whatnot. You know, i got a bunch of characters of my own as yeah. well. So, you know, and this guy's always coming up with great character ideas as well. So, yeah. I don't know, we could be some consultants, you know. So that would be great. We'd love to uh, join yeah. you. And you say this is February coming up? Yeah, around February. We don't have a, a positive date yet, but that's one of the things about independent wrestling that differs from the pros, you know, it's a lot harder to start sure. booking venues and yeah. stuff like that for, for independent right. stars. Yeah, everything to, costs money these like, days. So you have a concrete date set, and right now we don't have a concrete date set, but sure. from what I was told from the promoters, that they, they're they trying to book a date in February, and um, if should I get any more information, it'll definitely will be on the Mid-South Extreme uh, Facebook page for, uh, for everyone to check out. Um, another thing I do, I pretty much do with you guys do on here, except I, I can't take calling callers. There's no way for me to do it. But I do a lot of wrestling talk. Um, I talk about also about video games. I do reviews, DVD reviews. And uh, one thing I finally did is I, I finally caved in and got the WWE Network. And uh -huh. I, I, I think it's okay. Um, I, I got to watch me, Van, and you were just talking about, you know, Dean Ambrose and the last couple of shows. I, I love what they did with him on on Miss TV, and especially the way they finished that off. I thought that was, it was hilarious. Great. It was great. Yeah, it was awesome. And I, I absolutely love Damian Sandow. He is cracking yeah. me up. Yeah. I mean, he's 
great out there doing the Miz. He's better at the yeah. Miz than the Miz is. I'm and I hope he gets like an Intercontinental or a you know U.S. you know championship match later on. You know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, and, but kind of where we're going with our mid card titles, and this yeah. was kind of a little spoiler we had for the audience tonight. Basically, we have a, a Intercontinental Battle Royal on SmackDown. Cesaro is going to win it. And uh, so we're going to see Cesaro kind of, who had an awesome match with Sheamus, yeah. you know, really hard hitting match. And uh, we're actually going to see him kind of go toward the Intercontinental title with Dolph. And Sheamus has pretty much called out Rusev. So your prediction has come true as yeah. far as. I want to see Rusev as the U.S. Champion, you know, get some heat, you know. Which they're ultimately trying to build Ruse up, Rusev into the next big, you know, thing. And, you know, yeah. you know we might not see him lose until he faces Cena. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, Probably sorry, don't so. build him up to be the next Vladimir Kozlov. That went nowhere. Yeah. Right, exactly. The thing I wanted to do is uh, when they're doing the national anthem, I wanted them, I wanted Lana and Rusev to, uh, in the middle of the uh, national anthem, I wanted them to go in the middle of their intro to get some heat. But I guess it's Nashville. They didn't want to have a riot or people mad. Yeah, Adam. Yeah. Well, Mr. Uh, Billy, um, we thank you for the call, yeah, and uh, well, I actually just jotted down your number, so um, yeah. I will give you a call, my friend. And uh, this is the number we could reach you at. I'm not going to yeah. announce your uh, phone number over the air, of course, but um, you know. So we will be in touch with you, and uh, we would yeah. love to work with you. We're all uh, we're yeah. some definitely some wrestling. Thank you very much. All right, you guys have a great one. You too. Right, you as well. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. How about that, folks? Yeah. Cool guy, Mr. Yeah. Billy. Uh, so thanks for calling, Billy. Yeah. You know, and if uh, anybody else wants to call, you see the number yeah. three six six eight nine five zero. Oh. Don't think I'm pointing at your junk, dude. I'm yeah, pointing at the number. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> All right, so we talked a little bit about the tag team match. I guess now we're going to have to speed up our pace a little bit. we got about 10 minutes. That's, yeah, that's yeah. good time, huh? Enough to talk about some pay-per-views. And... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can do it. Sheamus, Cesaro, awesome match. Yeah. We kind of mentioned it a little while ago, but a really hard-hitting match. Uh, Cesaro yeah. proves himself just about yeah. every time he goes out there. Uh, too bad he's, you know, he can work on his mic skills a little bit, yeah. but uh, kind of... Sheamus being, being all stiff. <laughs> yeah, but uh, from what we said, you know, pretty much you are going to see an Intercontinental Battle Royal for the number one contender yeah. on SmackDown, and Cesaro is going to win it, and so yeah. he's kind of going the Intercontinental title direction. Uh, let's Which I, see. You want to see him be an Intercontinental Champion? I like it. I mean, maybe yeah. he impressed McMahon or whoever yeah. makes that call uh, so much that, yeah. you know, let's get him as a champion, you know. Uh, but they're kind of, they might be thinking Rusev as the yeah. U.S. champion as well because yeah. apparently that's where Sheamus is headed, yeah. you know. So we got uh, Ziggler versus Miz. And I really wasn't crazy about this and that yeah. the Miz won. He held the tight. You were mad about Georgia? I was Florida really Lions. mad about this. And... Folks, yeah. I'm going to pound the You're table both. on it. You know, what the heck is Florida Georgia line? Who yeah. the heck cares about them? Yeah. Baby, you're strong and you make me want to roll my window. Yeah, yeah, I don't care how it goes because it sucks. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, pretty much they came on, were commentating, and then they ended up beating up Dan and Damian Sandow to some yeah. extent. And yeah. they're basically plugging yeah. their new P album. PR, and, yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, sucks. Okay. Get away from uh, Ziggler and Miz here. What? Which talking about the Intercontinental Title, Ziggler ended up winning it back the next night. What yeah. do you think about the short title reigns? And you know, because I actually kind of like the changing of titles. Can I get to get a, a feud or get to like? Reminds me of the Attitude Era a little yeah. bit, when the titles change so yeah. often. You know, but some people, you know, they're on the internet saying, "Oh my gosh, he's pretty." Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but some people are on the internet saying that, um, <laughs> you know, that. Oh, you need a longer title reign, you know, yeah. to make the title mean more. But, you know, I kind of like the excitement. I want to have a year. I want to be Even like... Even though The Miz sucks. Yeah. You know, and I want to see him. 455 days. <laughs> right, yeah. So, uh, then, no, as you said, no Roman Reigns. So, we did not yeah. get a Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins match. Basically, we went out, had a promo, then had the ref raise yeah, his yeah. hand. Yeah, got some heat, you know. Open like, challenge ooh, to like... the locker room, and then Dean Ambrose comes up in the cab. Yeah. And he, didn't unpredictable. Pay, he didn't pay his fare. Didn't pay his cab fare, you know. Yeah. He's a loose cannon, <laughs> you know, and uh, pretty much they brawled all over the arena, as they usually yeah. do. And then they did that again on Raw yeah. uh, with Cena, because Cena's mad at uh, Seth Rollins now, and we'll get to the main event of yeah. uh, main, uh of money, uh, not money in the bank. I get all the. They have some. Hell in a cell. Uh, actually, not a champion. Not so. a champion. Yeah, Hell in a Cell is actually next, folks. So yeah. we are going to hell uh, next. 
So, Mark Henry versus Rusev, another American yeah. letdown. Yeah, Mark Henry cried for the National Anthem, you know. Yeah, and then on main event, Mark Henry kind of blamed the crowd, you know, and was almost trying to turn heel. Then Big Show came out and saved him, like, oh, brother, I support you. And, you know, yeah. so it was, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Rusev. Uh, but we are going to see Big Show go against Rusev in the main event of SmackDown. So that yeah. should be pretty interesting. I thought they were going to hold that out to the pay-per-view. Did, did, did he knock him out? Uh, <laughs> yes, actually he does knock him out, but that was after... Uh, disqualification, uh, yeah. which, of course, that's another topic I want to bring up. What's up with all the disqualifications? Like, I don't know. Too many DQs. Come on, writers. Yeah. You're, you're, too, you're getting a little lazy Dude, here. Messed up, you know? messed so up, let's you know, can we get some good finishes, especially in our main events. You yeah. know, come on, come on. Like me and him, like we're having a like a little, like, you know, game. Like, what's gonna be the next finish? You know, when we're at Brawl, you know, we're like, this, this is the finish. Yeah, pretty yes. much. Well, I mean, we can predict it. You know, the yes. writing is relatively predictable nowadays. And uh, so we have two old timers going at it, Jericho and Orton, and yes. good match, I thought, yeah. for them. You know, Orton's always, you know, he's a he's a ring cannon. You know, so uh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Thank Ooh, you. We got an old timer, and then oh, we got forty seconds left. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Okay. Uh, yeah, we were talking Jericho Orton. Good match. Orton ended up winning as we predicted last week yeah. here on Sports Entertainment tonight. Uh, yeah, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit. We've got about four and a half minutes. So, uh, Divas Championship. Which I thought it was kind of weird that they had three championship matches to start off Night yeah. of Champions, then a bunch of non-championship matches that well, ended champions. with two champions. You know, so I don't know. I thought they yeah. should have just spread out the AJ championship Lee, AJ matches. Lee won her title back, you know. She won her precious back. Yeah, the Divas title with the big old butterfly in it on it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she won it back. Uh, I actually thought Nikki Bella looked okay. Yeah. You know, she other than the one, like, horrible move, like, yeah. on the side of the ropes where she, like, bumped butts with her and, like, was well, yeah. that supposed to hurt? Okay. Uh, but yeah, AJ ended up winning the title, and it looks kind of like she's still feuding with Paige. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was kind of weird that they didn't bring out uh, Brie Bella. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, that was something we predicted that would yeah. happen last week, but, you know, it is what it is. WWE writing. They said, like, you're going to have, like, later on, it might have some risque storyline because the, they want to have more. Uh, viewers ratings you know that'd be nice you know i mean i'd love for them to jump back to tv 14 at least you know yeah. uh okay and in our main event we have brock lesnar against john cena in the rematch yeah it wasn't it wasn't like a suplex suplex again yeah it, was it wasn't a, a total domination which yeah. we we knew that cena would have a better showing yeah. than he did at SummerSlam. Yeah. john cena made brock lesnar bleed you know <laughs> yeah well i mean he had a little more offense what was that? i wrote down some of it uh he had four aas or attitude yeah. adjustments which used to be called fu's right yeah now he can't say fu anymore. right he had two stfs what does that one stand for i don't know shut the <laughs> shut the front door yeah uh yeah so two stfs and basically uh, you know, Cena had him in the STF, yeah. you know, had a, got him in an attitude adjustment. It yeah. looked like he was about to win the match. Yeah. And then here comes Seth Rollins with the Money in the Bank briefcase. <laughs> and, you know, I thought it was kind of a cheesy ending. I mean, maybe yeah. if he had actually cashed in, but he curb stomped Lesnar. Yeah. Uh, you know, and so it seems like Seth Rollins is just kind of making everybody yeah. mad. You know, he's he's even kind of getting on the authorities' nerves. Like, yo, you're gonna keep on setting. But it's pretty good fires. though. Like, he's an awesome heel now. You know, they need some. You know. I agree, and all of the Shield members, you know, I yeah. think you know are doing their due diligence uh, in yeah. WWE. You know, and I'd say probably my least favorite is Roman Reigns. Yeah. And but he's on the shelf right now. And I mean, I even still like Roman Reigns, but. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's way better than The Miz, yeah. you know. Uh, let's talk the bunny. Yeah. Let's talk think? bunny. Right now, uh, we have Same Adam thing. Rose yeah. uh, with, you know, and he's been feuding with uh, Slater Gator. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Adam Rose, uh, you know, has his little entourage, and the bunny is part of that entourage. So we have, like, a bunny, like, Easter-looking bunny, you know, yeah. uh, that is wrestling now. Yeah. And we have some predictions, folks, as to... Who the bunny is? Sami Zayn, I think. You think it is Sami Zayn? Yeah. Okay. Do you, what is your evidence that you uh, knew it is Sami Zayn? Well, he's Zane? he's a white guy. He got some freckles. Well, you can tell by the hands. You can tell a little bit by and hands. And he's a high flyer kind of. Okay. I can do all the high kicks and jumping off the ropes and okay. Yeah. And uh, 
what I noticed is last or last night on main event was that the bunny was break dancing. The only WWE wrestler I know that could break dance like that is Sami Zayn. So, yeah. folks, we always say it. You hear it here first. Yeah. Sports entertainment tonight. If you want your sports entertainment news yeah. quick, you tune in to us. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah. I'm getting pumped up now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get some roids. Oh, did we say that on there? Yeah. Okay, you can tell this ain't HGH. That's, that's yeah. real, baby. That's real. Yeah, what? Yeah. Okay. So I thought Raw, eh, it's better than last week in the Cajun Dome. I'll say that much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, folks, it's about time to wrap up. You know, we've had a lovely time talking to you. Yep. Uh, but um, it's that time where we have to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Mark, thank you for coming. Uh, that's my man. Yeah, I, I thank me, you know, because yeah. I'm here. You know, that's always a plus. See us next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week here on Sports Entertainment Tonight. Tune in. Yeah. Thanks.